Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I wanted to show you, which I got set up really fast within five minutes of not knowing how to do it. Um, pretty impressive. Uh, anyways, um, what I want to show is how to uh, essentially use uh, Redis with Python. As you know, I've hinted for quite a while that you can use Redis pretty well with anything under clients from under uh, Python. There is the standard little star, meaning Redis Pi is what you want. Um, so this is the um, R package for Redis. To install, all you have to do is in my case on a Mac, just go pip install Redis. And to get it running, I'll show you this part here. Um, okay, so let me uh, show you the basic connections with Redis. Okay, so we're going to import Redis. Um, let's get rid of this guy. So all we're going to do is, this is now um, Python here. I'm just going to run it, the interpreter. I'm going to go import Redis. Um, this is after you set up pip install Redis. This guy right here, you run that, and you can now run the test, the basic stuff. So if I go import Redis, um, then I'll try this guy. So it's running. Before I forget, um, it's kind of important to make sure. Actually, I don't need this anymore. Okay, so there is an, a Redis instance running. You can do that by typing in Redis hyphen server. I've shown how to do that many times. So we know that we're now with this one command here, this line that we've now connected into Redis using this guy right here. Um, so now what we do is we go to the next step to set the foo and bar. This is just basic connectivity. And then we'll just go r get the associated uh, foo with the bar. Okay, that's all good. So now what we're going to do is um, we are now going to run uh, TWS that I've run before, where is it? Where is the TWS, here it is. Okay, now remember, okay, uh, when you load TWS, the interactive brokers, e demo for the user, demo user for the password, uh, all lowercase, to get this set up, what you need to do is come under configure. First, make sure you're in the classic TWS configure um, and, and click and come under API settings, enable ActiveX socket clients, click that. If you're going to do orders, send orders to this session with TWS, make sure you do not have read only API clicked. Okay, this is just for basic connectivity. Okay, so that's all good and fine and good. Now, I've shown this also, this source code is available for my uh, Quant Leap members. Um, so we've got this hack here that I've made based on the I, uh, TWS Java test client. This is, uh, I've shown how to download this from Interactive Brokers. This I've hacked, um, which basically is uh, running in NetBeans, it's a Java app. And what we've got here is this is the app running connected to Interactive Brokers. So. We know we're connected because we've got the data farm connection happening. If we come under market data, um, we've got IBM listed here. So what does that mean? Um, well, if I come back into my Redis, this app is pushing data into that uh, Redis server session, this guy right here. Uh, so. What's happening is because now we have Redis and I'm using Python, I can now uh, basically uh, retrieve uh, information on on uh, 
on uh, IBM. So if I do an L range on IBM, uh, let's see, one, one thousand. Can't make this is the latest pick information from Interactive Broker. And that's retrieved from Redis. Okay, so let's say if I try to do this with Apple, this will not work because we are not tracking Apple. See, we got nothing. So if I go back into the Java test client for interactive brokers and I request now interactive brokers, or sorry, Apple. So now we're now pushing data into Apple or into Redis with the Apple data. So if we go back here and rerun one of these commands, we shall get data. So uh, 1117.13, uh, that's how we, we are able to uh, basically store data in uh, Redis using TWS from Interactive Brokers, using this Java app, and at the same time be able to retrieve the data from Redis using this Python client. That is pretty cool. All right, so that's pretty pretty simple, um, and uh, that's pretty exciting for me. Done less than 20 minutes without any knowledge. Have a good day.